Welcome back to Sussex Farms for episode 42 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So what I've decided to do is, as part of the pack that this comes from, is there's root crop storage, but there's one for sugar beet, one for potatoes, one for wood chips. 15 grand each to place, 300,000 litre capacity. So I thought rather than having a massive pile on the floor, while that's digesting, um, I'll bring the next load and I'll put it in the trigger there, I'll tip it there. I may have to tip it directly into the trigger to be fair. That might a bit, be a bit easier for this. And then what I'll do is use the conveyor belt to take it from there, hopefully into the cell point. I might need one of the extensions. But anyway, regardless of that, um, that said, this is already over 100,000 litres in here. And I've got another 79,000 there. <laughs> full grain tank nearly and I'm not even probably a third of the way across that field so I'm going to have hundreds of thousands of litres so uh, that thing really does need to speed up a little bit anyway uh, so what I'll probably do then is I mean I can tip it on here I've got it set on grain door so So I could just tip directly from the back of that into the trigger here if I wanted to, but while it's there. I need to get back. Another full load. I'm back at the biogas plant and it's all changed again. So, what I've done this time is I have put the conveyor belt from here into the point here. So as that's chugging away, I can then refill whenever I need to. That will do that directly from this point here. I've left enough space that I can tip into it, although I'm over 200,000 litres now, so I'm only going to fit another 100,000 in and that will be full, 300,000. So what I decided to do was put one of um, the AJ modding uh, silos 59 grand so what I'm also doing now is picking up contracts on the side I've already done a fertilizing one on field two um, and I'm just picking up I think I've got a gold one to do for about 30 grand that will cover the cost of this silo and this will hold 500,000 litres what I can do from this one then is put the pickup silo uh, pickup belt from here or one of the other ones because it should just drop directly onto it because there is that lovely right angled right angled right angled one and then we can do the same thing by tipping to there um, I'm just thinking of storing it rather than having it on the ground I just don't want it to get too laggy and I just thought you know just because it's tidier <laughs> so we'll overload into there we'll have a look in uh, here and sugar beet we are up to yeah 200 and, well 220,000 litres and climbing so we'll hit 300,000 litres in that storage in no time. Once that's full, then we'll move on to the other one there. We'll fill that as well, and my harvester is full again. I've switched over to using the lorry um, with the 79,000 litre trailer on it, rather than going backwards and forwards with the Holmer Terra variant. Simply because it was only 35,000 litres at a time, and I've just thought it'd be quicker and easier to do it like this. 
Now I can either do this by the side of the field and use the Terra variant to load this or I can load directly into this. Again, there's so many different ways of doing it. But um, that's where I'm at at the moment. This is all extra stuff I wasn't anticipating doing. I just thought all I would do is do it all off screen and then you'd see it all kind of done and I'd have X thousand litres of uh, digestate. I'd have however much I'm going to make overnight. But there's way more in this field than I thought. And when I decided to then shift and put it in silos instead, it just made more sense to show you what I was doing. So there we go. That's where we're at. So now maybe I can continue on. I don't even think. Am I halfway yet? Probably, probably not. <laughs> oh well. It's all money in the bank, isn't it? Everything is off of our new field. Um, that's full. This was full, but obviously that's chugging away. I keep refilling it every now and again. So what I'm going to do is we'll keep chugging away and we'll unload this bunker into here. And that will keep processing. I will turn up the speed at some point later on today but not quite yet. I did, a, I did a little while ago, and then what we'll do is, like I said, we'll do a, a combination of something here to get that to work. Um, once that gets going, excuse me, then we can unload, um, unload that. I think there's 60, another 62,000 litres in that. Um, actually, I could probably... Oh, no, I don't need it yet. So, what's happened at the moment is the field is being fertilised, um and I've started on the mowing so I'm going to see you over there in a second and I'll show you exactly what I've been doing I want to get the mowing done then I'll turn the speed up because I don't want to risk rain or any problems at all um, so yeah that's what we'll do so loading wagon I've already been bringing stuff here so field 4 no 3 has been done field 30 Oh, why? I'm just still horrendous with these field numbers. Uh, 34, um, which is our other grass field, has been not completely done, but not far off being done. And then I'll move to field 5 in a minute, so there's that off. Um, and I'll show you what I've been doing with that, because this doesn't have to be left out to dry um, to make uh, hay. It means I can take it straight off the field as I cut, which makes life a bit easier. So, let's unload. Uh, 
whether or not I go through into another year, I'm, I'm probably not going to, but the processes still need to continue. I know it kind of seems like a, what's the point, why are you bothering? But I might decide to. I might decide to keep the Let's Play and play it off, offline kind of thing, off camera. Um, I'm going to need silage. The farm needs silage moving forward. The animals are going to need it for making total mix ration. Or the cows are going to need it. So, absolutely, the process will continue. Why is that still saying two litres in there? That's weird. So what I'm going to do, we'll whiz over to... Um, field 35. And the thing about this is, as well... I, like I said, I don't want to speed up time because of that, that problem. I don't want the grass to start degrading. If I cut it all and the, the time sped up, I don't want it to start degrading and disappearing before I've got a chance to get it off the fields or anything like that. Normally I would mow and leave it on the ground, like I say, let it turn to hay, but that's not relevant now. So with that triple mower setup we've got, and you've probably done it yourself, you might have seen it before, or you may be completely new to the game and never seen it ever, I've set the mowers up in the triple mower configuration together. So rather than single on the front, butterfly on the back, the triple together, run the triple mower set up with it on swath mode, because they're the modded ones, and then pick up as I go. Um, so I'm not mowing and then going back. Right, helper eyes complete their task. That means that our new big field has been fertilised for the first time. I'm probably going to use the Scariflex, not the Scariflex, the Agramash to fertilise the next one, but that does need ploughing. Again, will I use that field? Potentially not. But I'm going to prep the fields anyway, because I'm still going through the motions of the farming. It's what we do. So what we do, what we do, mate, is like I'm a farmer, you know what I mean? It's what we do in the game is what I meant. So, triple mower set up on the front. Uh, our little thing's there. Set to narrow, so that's all on swath as it normally is. So what we'll do is put that on, drop it down, pick these bits up first. Like so, before I put the mowers on. There's always that risk if you mow over a bit that you don't have access to, you then can't collect it. You might be able to uh, use a wind rower and grab it and bring it back in. That doesn't always work, but sometimes. So, front mower on. Proper front mower on. What I will do is lift that one up. Then when I put it down, they will all go down together, like so. And then we will cut, swath, and collect all at the same time. As I say, it doesn't have to lay out. It makes no difference at all. I just need to pick it up as grass and put it in the bunker silo. So there's no point in leaving the swath on the ground. I might as well grab it all at the same time. One pass grass. That's what we need. gone through the hedge. <laughs> oh, it's helpful actually turn the mower on, wouldn't it? Excellent. Right. So this will continue, then I'll move over to field five. Once I've got everything into the silo, we'll compact it and cover it, as we normally do when we're making silage. Once that's compacted and covered, then I will turn the speed up I don't think by midnight we're going to get, we're certainly not going to get all that processed. We have a look into our menu now and go across to our sugar beet. We've got 743,815 litres in storage and the other 62,000 litres in the trailer on top of what we've already put through the system. Digestate production we're up to, what we're we up to, 98,000 litres and climbing. That's still chugging away. Digest that, it's where we're going to make a ton of money on this, aren't we? Which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I would imagine by tomorrow, at midnight, we'll get a nice payout. Digest that, I'll sell as I go along as well. Tomorrow, we'll have a load more milk, because we're up to about 50, nearly 60,000 litres of milk at the moment, so by the morning, we'll probably have another full load of milk. 
eggs we may oh eggs we should have well maybe almost a full one my chickens i don't know if i've mentioned it i might have done uh we are up to um 500 all females so i've managed to get to that point i don't want to do this at too much of an angle but it doesn't always like picking up this is a bit go back uh, yeah so everything is going very very well for it let's turn the mowers off brilliant Swing that way only making it worse not <laughs> making it better that's why I should have come on straight straight away right so this is what we're doing then I'll get a tractor over to plough the big field. I don't know whether or not it's worth putting the crop in there, so you're seeding it now and letting it go through as a winter crop. I don't think the temperature's going to drop anytime soon, actually, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another one in this way. Give me a bit more turning room, I'll straighten up a bit. There we go. Fantastic. Right then, everything's off the fields. Field 3, field 35, field 5, all done. I've got 386,619 litres of chaff, which will now become silage. What I will do though is take this, we'll take the doubles off it, twins off of it, get it back to its normal operation and doing the jobs it should be. And now I need to turn my attention back over to um, the sugar beet processing uh, because now that's all done I just need to keep a check on check on the animals regularly and make sure I feed them before bedtime um, and then uh, should be okay to go through the night customize back to that again Fantastic. So, over there, I'm, like I say, in a little while, I'll probably go and get another conveyor belt. Let's see where we stand and how much we can process before midnight. That's the plan. I'm glad I've got the grass done. So that's the second cut of the year. That all worked out really well. No problems with rain this year, which has been brilliant.
it's just gone quarter past ten at night. We have just exhausted 300,000 litres that's in this first silo. As you've already seen, I've moved the other conveyor belt into place, ready for this to happen. So what we can do, hopefully, is just swing this into place and switch straight over. Um, I'm trying to think, how much have we actually processed? We're down to 498,000 litres left. We had knocking on 900,000 litres in total. Uh, digestate produced so far, we are up to two, uh, 214,000 and going. We are going to make an absolute fortune on the digestate. We should make a fortune on all of it. Caught the side of it. And there we go. Wow, that worked really well. <laughs> okay, so now we're set up. Jump in that one. Press L3, sugar beet, yes, please. Again, so I probably need to stay on this to keep that going for the time being but we can jack the time up again and see how much we can get processed before midnight I don't know I reckon will we get that way within 100,000 litres maybe if we're really lucky I'll probably see you again at midnight then that's probably the best bet and let's see where we're at We are nearly at midnight and I am curious. Although weirdly this is running slower out of this silo than it was out of the other one because the actual digest is keeping up. We are on time 60. 516,100. Whoa! That's a huge amount of money. So 104 was from the other biogas. And that was um, from the manure we sold. And, oh man, that's a huge jump up. Right, okay. Let's speed time up even more and see if this can keep up with it. Look at 247,000 litres. And how much of our sugar beet we actually got through. And we've got 460,000 litres left. <laughs> That can't be right, we must have got through more than that, surely. Mid-autumn, 6.38. So we went past midnight, we did alright. Um, I've reconfigured the belts, so we'll have a look at that when it gets light. But, price for milk is incredibly good, and it is starting to fall. So, I've got 90,000 litres in here, which we're going to get rid of. What we'll do is have a quick look on the old map. Field 38, of course, is ready to harvest. <laughs> more sugar peat. <laughs> so having finished field 24 which is now prepped it's been ploughed it's been fertilized once um i've now started harvesting then it started pouring the rain but the sugar beet harvester will continue harvesting in the rain um rather than take over the 79,000 litre lorry trailer because i was using the lorry and i'm using it now for doing the milk i took over the two flegal balls so that's 80,000 litres the tractor with those is over here at the biogas plant waiting to unload while the belts continue i'll show you the belts later on so i had to reconfigure them a little bit um it all went a little bit peak tong but there's nothing to do about that so what we'll do we'll find the truck where are we let's load our milk in we'll get rid of that so that'll be today's milk run done 
um, and then I'll carry on off. I think I'll empty the I'm trying to think what way around to do this it doesn't really matter actually as long as the um, processor keeps going it's just going to be going all day with the amount of stuff I've got left I think I've got about 200,000 litres left in the tank uh, we've got 324,000 litres of digestate to sell um, and I've got what we got this morning 215,000 litres left in there what do we have like midnight 460 wasn't it so we've done alright we yeah <laughs> we've got so much to get rid of I really shouldn't have bought the extra fields but it doesn't matter this is the money spinner why do I think 70 oh 60,000 I was thinking of the um, the other trailer. I'll come back and get another 30,000 litres in a minute. That's already given me the milk trigger. There we go. This should crack us over a million again. So when it gets light, I'll empty the rest of the sugar beet, and what I will then do is start. I'll take this tanker over. And then we'll start transporting the uh, digestate. It's only just on the, the building next door. Um, I reckon by the end of this, not taking into account all the new sugar beet that we're doing, we're going to be up around one and a half million, I reckon. Maybe more. We haven't even started on the soybean fields that I've planted either. It's quite scary, isn't it? Guess where? Back at the biogas. This continues. As you can see, the belts have moved round. For some reason, last night, just after midnight, this one stopped working here, so I had to swap them round. I don't know why, and every now and again this one keeps turning off. It's it's uh, weird. I've tried it with... It's driving me mad. I've tried it with um, auto engine on and off. I've done all different settings. And every now and again it just keeps tripping out but it's just working we're down to about 160,000 litres and then it goes again yeah about 160,000 litres uh, I need to unload this I bought over the tanker to collect the digestate but in true you know as luck of the Irish um, uh, Murphy's Law will dictate how many more cliches I need it's, it's the pipes over there. And my belts are all across here. This building comes right to the edge. I can't get to the digestate tank. Um, my only other way of doing it, potentially... Is that still going or has it stopped here? No, it stopped here. Um, is to come through the hedge. Maybe I could back through the hedge. As long as I pay for repairs. There's no fence there. This is where I'm selling it, right there. So, yeah, I mean, potentially, I could drive through and just back through the hedge, I guess, couldn't I? That might be my only course of action, realistically. Um, how are we looking at this? Yeah, just every now and again you have to jump into the belt just to get it to work again. It just seems to trip out, but it's, it's not the end of the world. We're still plodding on, we're still getting rid of the stuff, so what we'll do is... I'll unhitch the back one. The harvester is full again. I waited for it to get light, so what I'll do is empty these, whiz back over. We'll um, keep emptying the harvester. I'll keep filling it into here, and we'll just spend the rest of the day getting on with it. Just clearing all of this, all of this clearing all the filter 38. Just 
<laughs> Just so I was making some headway clearing it. I think I'll fill it all up again. Why not? <laughs> As long as that belt doesn't run dry, it's processing. It really doesn't matter how low it gets or how full it is. As long as it doesn't run dry, we're processing. We've got the cloud symbol up next to the rain, so at some point, hopefully fairly soon, the rain's going to stop. Go. I think I'll go around this way, so it's probably the quickest route round. Right, let's go into the harvest. I'll see you back down here in a minute, and we'll, um, yeah, I think we'll go through the hedge. <laughs> and we'll start selling some of that digestate. Now, on this map, like I so say, if you're new to this series, you might be new to the whole game or whatever, but you might not be. On, the, on this map, on Jim's maps, generally speaking, you get good prices for the things. So selling the digest date is by far and away the best thing to do on this map because of what you get for it and this is how you can make a load of money. As the byproduct from selling the sugar beet, which we're also making a load of money on, we're going to make a load of money on top of a load of money, which is great. On a normal map, whatever a normal map is, um, digest date you don't get paid very much for, even on maps where you can. You can buy the Holger Sengstock slurry system um, where you've got a sell point as well as a buy point and storage. You don't get paid a huge amount, but in enough quantity you can make some money. If all else fails as a byproduct, you just use it as a fertiliser. So, you know, it's a win-win all, all the way around. Whichever maps you get where you get good money for it, sell it. If you don't get good money for it, use it as a fertiliser. You know, whichever you want to do. Uh, should come straight on that one. Anyway, right, let's get this done and then we'll uh, get back to the digestate situation. Next 80,000 litres coming in. The yield off field 38 is insane. Because field 24, what was it, I think I bought, um, was just a bought field. It didn't have everything done to it. Field 38, I did everything to, to increase the yield. And I can't keep up with the harvester. It's crazy. Anyway, through the hedge. There we go, full, full rain tank. Again, I just got back with the other 80,000. I think what I have to do is, um, we'll, to pay for the hedge, we'll, um, wait for it, dad joke, we'll start a hedge fund. I don't know why that made me smile. But we're going to back with the hedge. Don't try this at home, kids. The neighbours don't like it. Three hundred and forty-seven thousand litres. This is going to be quite a process, isn't it? Right, well that's filling up. I want a quick check on this, make sure this is all going as it should. Yep. Look on there. Be fine if some idiot didn't keep bringing sugar beet. We might actually be making some headway here. Oops, wrong way. Full tank. The long drive all over here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. So this process will continue now, um, off camera. I will carry on clearing field 38 um, of sugar beet. I will keep bringing it over here to put into the silo. I'll keep that chugging away all day long. Um, my animals, we will keep up with feed and all the rest of it over the course of the day. I can't harvest soybean. They're not ready to harvest yet anyway, but the pouring rain I wouldn't be able to. But I'm assuming they're going to be ready late autumn. Hopefully we don't get a frost or anything horrible or the rain continues. And I'm hoping that corn will be ready. What do we make off that? 70,000. That's not bad. So I'm going to carry on emptying that silo out and digest eight. And with that, we have come to the end of another episode. We are in the final stages here on Sussex Farms. And where we started out just doing a bit of haulage and transport jobs and doing various different things over the run of the whole you know the whole series um building up the farm getting all the animals getting to a point where the animals were productive then starting to make money from the animals then starting to make money from other aspects and areas then the biogas plant and you know um i want to finish this sugar beet harvest i want to finish the soybean harvest which we planted and i want to harvest that corn i want to get the corn out because i didn't manage to do it last year that's my my challenge i've set myself once that's done we're probably going to be ending the Let's Play, I would think. But we've probably got maybe two or three more episodes, maybe. Maybe a couple. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.